All right, so here's number one. Let me zoom in a bit. I need you listening and thinking. So the directions say use the law of superposition, inclusion, and cross-cutting relationships to determine the relative ages, that just means oldest to youngest, of the following cross-sections. So if we cut a piece of ground in half, we're looking at it from the side, that's a cross-section. It wants you to determine the oldest layer first. That's how you need to work every time, working oldest to youngest. You'll mess yourself up if you try doing it the other way around. The stratigraphic principle is just another way of saying which law applies or which laws. Sometimes multiple laws will apply in your decision making, okay? So let's look at number one first. We've got three layers. That's pretty easy to start with, okay? Who would like to tell me which layer would be the oldest layer and which stratigraphic principle you're choosing or which law you're choosing uh, to demonstrate that? Which is the oldest layer and why? What do you think, Tony? Uh, I said A. Okay, why? Because it's on the bottom. Which is what principle? Um, superposition. Okay, she says A because it's on the bottom, and the law of superposition tells her that. Who would like to agree that it's A? Okay, handful of people there. Anybody want to suggest B or C as an older layer? Okay. Surya, why? Which one and why? Okay, so you're saying that these right here are inclusions of layer C. How did you know that? Sure. Similar background. Okay. Visually, you can tell this is from layer C. So he's saying these are inclusions, and our law of inclusion states that the inclusions are older than the layer they're included in. So C is included with little island in itself within A, so C is older than A. So our oldest layer, good job, good discussion, is C. What would be our second eldest layer? Second oldest layer, Maddie. A. A because? It's. So I guess we're, we're looking at A and B now. So why is A younger than B? I'm sorry, older than B. Because B is the cross-cutting law, so, and B is like the youngest because it goes through all of it, so that would just leave A to B. The middle. Yeah. Okay, good. She said it's not B because B follows the cross-cutting law. It cuts through all the other layers, making it the youngest, leaving A to be your middle-aged layer. So we should have B as the youngest, A, and then C as the oldest. What stratigraphic principles or laws did we use here? <coughs> Jenna, give me one law we used here. Okay, the law of inclusion. That's how we determined our oldest rock. Okay, anything else? Jake? Law of intrusion. Cross-cutting law. Our, our intrusion is a portion of uh, our cross-cutting law which refers to intrusions. Okay. Let's try, I'm going to let you try one more, then we're going to go over it before I let you start working independently. So number two, I believe, to be a little bit easier than number uh, one. So give this a try. We've got, we've got five layers this time, not three. What is B? B is an intrusion, so that might help you some. It's intruding from the bottom. Bless you. All right, 
Who would like to share what they put for the oldest layer? Ryan, what'd you get and why? I like B hard when it's B and E. I almost can't hear the difference between what she said. So you're saying the oldest is E as an elephant? Yes. Okay. Because B is an intrusion that intrudes into E, therefore making it younger than E. Is that what you said? Okay. B and E sounded alike from over here. Good. So E is the oldest, and he said, just to clarify, B is an intrusion into E. And intrusions, based on the cross-cutting law, are younger than what they intrude through or cut through. So E is the youngest, then what would be next? If we were between these two, Emma? Uh, B. B would be next. It was the intruder, but it did not intrude through our higher layers. And then the last three are pretty easy because we've been studying this law for two days now. C, D, A, based on which principle? Superposition. Good. It does, oh, hold on, hold on. I mean, I'm glad you're all eager to answer, but let me, let me answer that, because that's a great question. The question was, why is B not the youngest? And the answer is because it does, it, it's only younger than what it intrudes through, or what it cuts through. So B is younger only than E, because it only intrudes through E. It doesn't intrude through C, it doesn't cut through D, it doesn't cut through A. So it's only younger than what it cut, the layers it cuts through. Based on the law of superposition, because it is lower in the ground. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm at number one. See, this is the law of inclusion. So any any layer that's included, or if you've got a part or a piece of a layer included in another, it is older than the layer it's in. Oh, okay. okay. That's why we're practicing. It's hard to keep them all straight, but the more we practice, the better we get. Very good. I'm going to let you try the next uh, six. Independently, I want you to try on your own. It's not for a grade. Just try, including writing down which principles. So in this case, we used, uh, I was about to write intrusion. We used cross cutting with our intrusion. And we also used superposition. Now, before you move on, there's a few clarifications that will help you as you work on your own. And then we'll, well, then we'll discuss in groups. On number three, does A intrude into B at all? Yes. Yes. It's over the D line. It intrudes into B. So that counts. A intrudes into B. It doesn't have to go all the way through the layer to be an intrusion. The only other thing you might have, there's two other clarifications I want to make that are going to help you today. If you'll look at number... Four. Look at number four. This one is arguable. Look at M. Here's A and here's M. M is a fault. A is an intrusion. It's very difficult to tell which one cuts through which one. So we're just going to remain consistent as a class and say that A intrudes into this fault line M. So A cuts through M. If you want to write yourself a note so you remember when you get there. That way you're not having to tell, well, does M cut through A or does A cut through M? We're just going to stick with, at, with the same answer as a class, A cuts through M. And then the final clarification is on number eight. Yeah, it gets real fun. Hold on. i got to cover up all the answers before I bring this over. Okay, there we go. No. So J is kind of hiding from you. If you'll look, J blends in with the kind of uh, brick-like pattern of this particular layer. J is right there. This right here is nothing. It looks like a faded two. That's nothing. You can ignore that. J is right here. So let's say this. I'll give you until lunch to try this on your own including writing down the principles or the law that you're using to determine, and then we'll discuss as a, a group and let you debate over your choices when you get back.
on your own until we go to lunch.